How are you guys doing today? My name is Issa, and welcome to African American Muslim Group Economics, where us African American Muslims, we are circulating the dollar bill amongst ourselves. Listen, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Now, there's a, there, there's a business here that I want to advertise. It's called the Muslim Boutique. The Muslim Boutique, right? Very unique business. As a matter of fact, to be honest with you, I have not seen anything similar to it in the Muslim community. Hey, listen, I'm talking about stickers for the home, decorate the house. Got the stickers that got La ilaha illallah, Muhammad. Um, if I'm not mistaken, alhamdulillah, most definitely that. Uh, we got, he got the hats, Islamic hats, with Allah on it, La ilaha illallah. You, got, you guys got to check the, and got the different colors too. So ladies, by the way, you, the ladies, you can wear it too. He got the pink one, because you know you got some ladies. They like to um, wear the hijab and have a hat on over it. If that's your style, if that's something that you like to do, then why don't you get something like this? Get a hat on it that has a law on it. So therefore, people know you Muslim from the hijab, but when they see that hat with a law on it, it's, oh yeah, that's icing on the cake right there. Oh, she's most definitely Muslim, right? Got different colors. He got the green, he got the black, he got the, the blue, the light blue, got the black. I really suggest y'all go and support the brother. Right, because I'm, I'm gonna tell you something that I always tell people all the time. If you look at the other communities, right, the Arabs, they support each other. Uh, the Bengalis, they practice the group economics. Yemenis, most definitely the Yemenis, for sure the Yemenis, right? We are the only community, African American Muslims, that we don't circulate that dollar bill amongst ourselves. That we don't actually, um, you know, spread the dollar bill and patronize each other. We are the only ones that don't do it. Everybody else, they do it. So let's stop playing games and let's put this money on the table and let's put the, put the money in these brothers' hands that have the business, the African-American Muslim brothers that have the businesses. Now, let's get back to this man's products. Got the hats, got the necklaces, he got the Islamic necklaces that got Allah on it, right? Ayat al um, What else he got? Shirts. He got the Islamic shirts, right? As you see. Um... What else the brother got? Got the mugs, you know, got the mugs, the, uh, the Islamic mug cups. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, got la ilaha illallah. If you're trying to decorate, if you're trying to Islamically decorate your home, Islamically decorate your home, then this is the brother that I suggest that you go and you buy your stuff from. You know, because you know, you got some of us that we want that type of household where as soon as somebody walks in, how you doing? As soon as somebody walks in the house, they say they know right away that you're a Muslim. If that's the case, if you're that type of person, then you need to shop with this brother. You need to go and you need to go and spend your money with this brother and stop playing around. I, listen, I don't want to hear that. Oh, well, you know what? You know, I, I may spend some money with you or I think about it. No, spend your money with him. Spend your money. As the Prophet used to say, Sadaqa does not decrease your wealth. It's not going to decrease your wealth. I'm going to be honest with you. Anybody that knows me personally, they know that I have an oil business. I sell oils, fragrance. I make my own fragrances. I'm going to be honest with you. I have not ever, ever seen one time where I would actually spend something or support somebody in the Muslim community except that it would come right back to me. I have never, ever seen it go wrong. Every single time, it worked. Every single time it worked. I would spend my money in the Muslim community. I will always get it back. Always, it worked every single time. So do you think that it's not going to work for you? If it, if it works for me, and I'm, I'm probably not as, a, as, as good as a Muslim as you are, then if it worked for me, then for sure it's going to work for you. Why don't you try it? What you got to lose? What you got to lose supporting your Muslim brother? You put a smile in his face, he stays in business, he stays in the community, his kids get to eat, he, he, he keep gas in his car, he keep his car. You know, his, his, he get to pay his bills and everything. I mean, what you got to lose? So enough talking, listen. Click on shop now. He's on, actually on Facebook, the Muslim Boutique. T uh, type him up, search him up. And you can click on shop now. Shop now, you can buy it directly from Facebook. African American Muslim Group Economics, the Muslim Boutique. Y'all go support them. Thank y'all.